Hi, welcome to my Yoga Stretch Fusion Floor class. I'm Jennifer Wagner with Collective Wellness. Today's class is on the floor, we stay on the floor, but you're welcome to do this class in a chair or in your bed. Make sure to exercise within your ability. If you experience any difficulties, stop, seek a physician right away. All right, let's get started. Find that space. Get that chair if you need one, and then join me back here. Hi, welcome back to the Yoga Stretch Fusion floor only class. Go ahead and find a comfortable spot to sit in. Hands resting on your thighs, shoulders relaxed. Go ahead and close your eyes gently. Inhale and exhale. Allow the shoulders to release. Leave all your stress, all your worries at the door. Inhale. Exhale. Center from your tailbone up to the spine, to the top of your head. Bring your hands together, center with your chest into Namaste. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly open your eyes. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, pushing away. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. Bring those hands forward. Inhale and open, exhale. Closing together and back to center. Again. And open, exhale, closing, inhale, exhale. One more time. And exhale, center, back together. Go ahead and onto your hands and your knees. We're gonna start warming up our spine into the cat cow. So shoulders and hands are lined up. You can have a fist or you can have your palms down and the knees underneath the elbows. Tailbone tucks under, going into the cat. Pressing your spine to the sky, inhaling to a cow, tailbone out, chin up back. Good, again, back and forth. You could always use the edge of your mat. Take the pressure off of your wrist if you need to also. Back and forth, move your spine. Tailbone under, chin's under, press your spine to the sky. And then inhale into cow, tailbone out, chin back. Good, again. One more time through. Bring your back into center. Opposite arm, opposite leg, extending straight out, extending through your toes, your fingertips. Try not to shift into the other hip. Coming down and switch. Opposite arm, opposite leg until parallel with the floor. And down. Again, alternating one breath, one movement. So inhale up and exhale down. Switch, inhale up and exhale down. Parallel with the floor if you can, or just lift up as high as you can from that point. Fist is always an option if needed. Last time each. Coming down, 
sitting back into extended child's pose. So extend the fingers out, shift your hips back, and then press your chest down. Arms staying off the mat. Inhale and exhale. Curl yourself up. Good. Hands below the shoulders again, knees below the hips. From here, you're gonna take one leg, you're gonna press the heel to the sky. Your knee is a 90 degree angle. Your thigh is parallel with the floor. The bottom of your foot is facing the sky. Go ahead and pulse up. Pull your abdominals in, up towards your rib cage. Good. Now extend and curl. Keep that thigh lined up with the Feel that parallel with the thigh. Foot stays flexed. Pull the heel in. Feel the hamstring start to activate. Feel the tush. We're gonna really get into those glutes and hips. Hold, pulse up again. Three, two, extend. Toes are pointed. And now you're going to pulse up. Good. Keep your hips center as much as you can. You can come down to your forearms if you need to. Whew, push through. Three, two, now cross over and then all the way out in front, up and over. Try not to shift the hips too much. Stay center, that's the hardest part. You got it. One more time. Out. Cross. Come back to center. Lower down. Extend to child's pose. Good job. Spread those fingers. Shift away from you. Pressing the hips back as you press your chest down. You're going to shift your hips to the right. As you walk your hands to the left, feel that down the right side of the body into the hip. We're gonna do this on both sides, so eat, no matter what side you started on, because you're gonna feel it on both sides because that's stabilizing leg. Go ahead and shift to the other side. So shift your hips to the left, walk your hands to the right, and then pressing down, feel that through the left side. One side's gonna be a little tighter, really feel it more, that's okay. Should feel really good. Walk back to center, come back up, hands below the shoulders again. You have that option, or like, I'm gonna do this, is that I can take the pressure off my wrist because my fingers are lower than my wrist. So my shoulders are still above, and then hips underneath, you're gonna switch legs. So go ahead and bring your other leg up, Thighs parallel with the floor, your knee is 90 degree angle, foot is flexed, so the palm of your, or the bottom of your foot is facing the sky. Go ahead and pulse up. Push the heel. Try to stay out of pushing into that hip. It's a hard one to do. One side's a little stronger than the other. Push. Good. Inhale, exhale. Go ahead and extend and bend. Pull the heel in. Keep your core in check. Keep that thigh up there. Try not to drop your thigh because that's when you're gonna lose that effect. Feel that through the hamstrings, through the tush, through the hips. Inhale, exhale. Go ahead and pulse again, so knee is bent. Pulse up. Push, push. There you go. Get those glutes. Glutes tend to be your underactive muscles, especially if you sit a lot. So you wanna work those muscles, strengthen them. Go ahead and extend, toes are pointed, pulse up. 
Toes are put to push from the bottom of the foot. All right, cross over and then out to the side. Cross over and out to the side, straight out. Again, keep yourself centered. Try not to curve through the torso, it's all to the leg. So you wanna avoid curving the spine to the side. Stay centered, work through the hip. I'm gonna feel this leg work faster just because it was a stabilizer. One more, you can do it. And release. Good job, go ahead and sit back in that extended child's pose. Shifting those hips back, press your chest down. Feel that in the shoulders too. Shift your hips to the left as you walk your hands to your right. And then press your chest down. Feel that down the left side. Walk your hands to center. And then shift your hips to the right as you walk your hands to the left. And press your chest down. Feel that through the shoulders, through the rib cage down. Inhale and exhale. Back to center. Curl yourself up. Good. Now uncurl your mat if you had curled yours up like mine. And then bring yourself to a seated position facing me. So working through the hips, kind of wiggle those out, legs in front. You're gonna bring your right foot behind. Tuck the foot underneath, and then your right knee is bent so it's nice and comfortable in front, hopefully. I want you to tuck the foot under because the knee is a hinge joint. So we don't wanna twist through that knee. Go ahead and sit back, push your hip, push this hip up and out, but keep the knees down. Sorry, my bangs are in the way. Pushing the hip up and out. Feel that through the hip flexors. This is a muscle that tends to be overactive, so it tends to be tight. So we want to open that hip up before we start to stretch anything else out. Go ahead and relax the hip, feel that down the thigh. And then push your hip up and out again. If you have a ball, you can always put that ball right behind you and kind of support. Go ahead and let the thigh relax. Stretch down into the quads. And then up and out. Good. And down. And last time, up and out. Go ahead and relax the hip, walk your hands back. You're gonna take that leg, you're gonna cross it over. So your foot crosses over to the other side. You're gonna take your opposite arm and hook your leg, and then you're gonna turn towards this leg. And then just let that hip drop. You can kind of rock it out too, that a lot of times helps. And you'll feel a little massage in that other hip too if you have a little knot there. Just kind of rock it out. And as you rock it out, let that hip release. Let it drop further. Chest is lifted. Inhale and exhale. Release the knee. You take your foot up off the floor and I just want you to just kind of let that hip open and then you're gonna hinge forward have a form of a pigeon pose. Feel that through the hip rotators. Coming back, bring that knee, put your foot back down, hook your leg around, or hook your arm around, and then bring your arm out and back. Opening up. Good, turn and look back at your hand. 
So your body's turned towards the leg that you have a hold of. Then your back arm reaches up and then lift the rib cage, lifting to the sky and then reach up and over. Feel that down the side of the body and then into those hips, but try to let that hip drop still. So you're separating. Inhale, exhale. Release, go ahead and let go of that knee. Take your foot up off the floor. Again, you can open up that hip, gently pressing away from you and then hinging forward. Feel that through the hip rotators again. Inhale and exhale. Come back. Bring your legs out in front. We're gonna give those knees a little bit of a break. Kind of wiggle it out. So remember what side you were on, because we're gonna switch sides. So I'm not really telling you right or left. I'm just kind of getting you kind of adjusted. And go ahead and point and flex. Point, flex. Inhale, exhale. Flex, chest is lifted, keep those knees down and stretching as far as you can. Feel that in the back of the knees and the thighs and sliding back. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. So you're gonna bring one foot behind, tuck your foot underneath the hip so you have that natural hinge and then your other knee is bent in front. Sitting back, pushing your hip up and out. Feel that through the hip flexors, down to the thigh, but mostly through the hip flexors. And then let the hip relax as you feel that go down into the thigh. And then up and out. And down. And push the hip up. And relax. Again. One more time, pushing up and away. There you go. Feel that through those hip flexors. And relax. Down to the thigh. Coming up. Take this leg, bring it up and around. You're going to take your opposite arm, hook around and turn. Chest is lifted. Go ahead and rock it out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let this hip drop down as you rock. Let it release, let it go. Feel how it goes a little bit further down each time you rock side to side. Go ahead and let it drop and hold. Release the knee, take your foot off the floor and then just open up through that joint. You can even gently press out, chest is lifted and hinge forward, getting into those hip rotators. This is a great stretch if you have sciatic nerve issues where your pinched nerves kind of helps release that. Inhale. Go ahead and bring your knee back, foot back on the floor. Hook that leg again with your opposite arm and then your other arm comes out and back. Chest is lifted, you're facing towards this leg. And then looking at your hand, go ahead and lift your back arm up, lift the rib cage and then up and over. Keep this hip relaxed down towards the floor. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Go ahead and let go. And then butterfly, bottoms of your feet together. And rock side to side. Side. 
center, bring those knees up and down, pushing those knees down, opening through those hips. Starting to get more into the inner thighs now. Grab a hold of the ankles, not your feet, so we're not tor creating torque through the ankles as we try to pull up all the time. Okay, now feet out wide. Shift your hips forward and then walk your hands forward. Kind of release those hips a little bit if you can. Push the heels away. Good. And then walk your hands out. There you go. Inhale. And exhale. Feel that through the inner thigh and through the groin. Coming back to the right, lift up and over. And switch. Up and over, chest is open, go ahead and switch. One more time each. Last time. Coming up. Lifting up nice and tall. Chest is lifted. Use your core as you hinge forward. Inhale. Exhale. Lifting up. And then reach for both toes. And release. Go ahead and bring those legs in, crisscrossing the legs without overlapping them. We're going to go into the hip rotators again. Go ahead and walk your hands out. Feel that through the hips. Go ahead and walk your hands over to one side, reaching as far as you can, but keep your hip down. And walking over to the other side. Walking back over to center and back. Switch your legs out and walk it out again. Inhale, exhale. Walk your hands to one side. And to the other side. Back to center. And go ahead and release and lower yourself down to the floor. So turn yourself to the side. Elbows first. Come all the way down. Bring your knees in towards your chest, grabbing hold of underneath and just rock side to side. Nice little massage. Stretch the back. Go ahead and place your feet on the floor. Rock your knees side to side. And center. Go ahead and let your legs down to the floor. Palms facing up to the sky. Shoulders relax, gently close your eyes. And just let everything go. Feel how your hips feel more open and relaxed. Inhale. Relax the muscles around your eyes. Release the muscles around your jaw as your teeth gently separate. Let your arms and legs become heavy. Inhale.
Deep breath in. Exhale. Full body stretch, arms up over your head, reaching as far as you can. Eyes are open, extending through your toes, your fingertips. Go ahead and turn your body towards me, turning onto your side, and then pushing yourself up from your side, using your hands, and then seated comfortably. Take a deep breath in, lifting to the sky, and exhale. Again, inhale, and exhale. One more time, and exhale. And namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you liked the class. If you want notifications for more, just go ahead and click on that little picture of me. Thank you so much for coming. Come back again.